Hey boys, welcome back to my little analysis of the teams, the Roll 2018 teams. And we've gone through a couple already, obviously the Broncos, the Raiders, and now we're up to the Bulldogs, who obviously had a fairly rough last season. And there's been some massive changes, some absolute massive changes to the Bulldogs uh, for this year. Obviously the new coach, Desi, is gone. Uh, pay is in. So who knows, who really knows what sort of impact that is gonna, gonna bring, I, I actually, the funny thing is, I actually just watched, like, a little, uh, clip of Mbai was talking on NRL, uh, 360, and he was, he was talking about that, uh, the type of footy they're gonna be playing is a lot more attacking, now, the, I, I think that was pretty obvious that th they were gonna come out this year and, and try to, try to play more attacking footy, because it was just sort of, you know, they persisted a long time with sort of the, uh, the forward, the forward momentum and then just playing off their big forwards pretty much. Um, but it's sort of, you know, it's it sort of started to let them down the last, last couple of years, really. So that was, that was always going to be the case. Um, so yeah, well, you know, obviously saying you're going to play more attacking is, is different to actually coming out and doing it. So we'll, we'll see how they go. I mean, <clears throat> they have obviously recruited, uh, a lot. Lost a few key plays as well, though. So, let's go into... Uh, we'll look, look through the losses first. So, uh, Brad Abbey, one of their young guys coming through. Uh, Craig Garvey, uh, another decent dummy half coming through. I, you know, I haven't... You know, I, I think not a, not a huge loss, but, you know, some depth gone there. Um, James Graham, obviously a massive loss, even though I, I do feel like Graham has started to, I mean, it, it's hard, like, it's hard because last year he was, he definitely was hampered with injuries, um, he had a neck problem for a, for a good portion and just, and concussions as well, like, he, he just seemed to get, uh, concussed, like, every second week, James Graham, so, he, uh, he definitely didn't have the impact he did, uh, when he first came in, but it is a massive loss, I mean, he was, like, their, their forward leader, and we'll get into their, their main recruit in the forwards in a, in a second here, but I, I do feel like the forwards they've lost are definitely not compensated, in my opinion, uh, the next one is big Cassiano, now, again, Cassiano, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what happened to Cassiano last year, I'm assuming it was, like, injuries, or maybe he was just dropped for, like, form, because I, it, it seemed like he didn't really play, that many games, I can't, I can't really remember how many he played, but it, it seemed like he was barely on the paddock for the Bulldogs, but I mean, Cassiano has been like their, you know, their biggest X factor for a long time, especially playing that just forward momentum game, like he was the guy that come off the bench and, and sparked them really, he was usually the one to set up tries, so I, he's a massive loss, and he's gone to the Melbourne Storm, um, I, he's gonna be, He's going to be amazing at the Storm, I feel. Like, they've already shown, like, he's, uh, he's way leaner, um, he's looking fit, so, yeah, that is a big loss. Uh, Richard Kenner, again, sort of just a depth player. Uh, Branko Lee, gone to the, uh, Gold Coast Titans. Uh, another big loss, honestly. Branko Lee was, he was probably their, not probably, he was definitely their most attacking player last year. Uh, he definitely, he had some errors in him, you know, his defense could be a bit lacking sometimes, and he, he can make a few costly mistakes with, like, offloads in the wrong spots, but, uh, he definitely was their most attacking player, so, you know, I know they're talking about playing more attacking footy, but you need the players there to actually back up that attack, um, and he was definitely their, their sort of go-to man last year, so, yeah, that's, that's a pretty big loss, I mean, I wasn't never the biggest fan of him, but he did show, like, some really good potential. I'm pretty happy he's going to the Titans, actually. Uh, then we got Tyrone Phillips, um, decent player. And then the other big one here, Josh Reynolds, um, you know, love or hate him. He's, uh, he, he can bring a lot to a team. Um, I, I sort of feel like, I think this is good for the Bulldogs. You know, he was sort of their, their culture, I guess. He was, like, the, the favorite son for a long time, um, you know, Bulldogs fans obviously loved him, but I, I sort of feel like he, he made more mistakes than he, he didn't, I guess, like he, I, I felt like Reynolds, the mistakes he made, the penalties he gives away and stuff like that, it was never really compensated with match winning performances, so 
I personally think it's a it's a pretty good decision uh, to move him on. You know, he's going to the West Tigers. Who knows how he'll play at the West Tigers. You probably expect something similar, but I actually think that's a, it's a pretty good sort of trade for them to, to release. I feel like they've done okay um, with their losses with him, but the forward losses are huge. Uh, so we'll look at the, uh, the gains here. Uh, Farmanu Brown from the Sharks. Good young player, actually. That's a, that's a decent pickup. Just that utility player. Um, you know, he could potentially come into the starting side if they get a few injuries. He, he's a good backup. A good backup player. Can play a few positions. Uh, the main one here, obviously, uh, Kieran Foran, obviously, is just going to slot in there, uh, for Josh Reynolds. And that, obviously, that's a, he's a better player, but, it, it obviously comes with risk because when was the last time Kieran Florence had like a proper season? Like obviously it started with the off field issues, but then it's just been compounded with injuries after injuries. So it is definitely, a, it's a good signing, but is he actually going to, to be able to put a full season together? Is he ever going to get back to that, that form he showed with the, uh, the Seagulls? I, I don't know. Honestly, I mean, he is a great player, and I've always liked Kieran Foran, but last couple of years, like, what he's shown the last couple of years, you probably wouldn't say it's a it's a great signing, but, I mean, if he gets back to what he was, like, he's he's going to be great for them, but that it's a big if, really, it's a big if, and it's not it's not really so much the off-field stuff anymore, you would like to think he's he's sort of past that now, but the injuries just seems to be, um, just seems to be cruel with injuries, I, I don't know, it's crazy, because, like, it's weird, because... He, he spent so much time off, off of the game uh, through, like, personal stuff, but then he came back and he just, he got injured. Like, he, uh, I was remembering, like, before, he never really got injured when he when he first burst onto the scene, but, I don't know, I guess, sort of age. Like, he he's not that old, but he's sort of just catching up to him. He does play, like, million, uh, you know, a bit like a Josh Reynolds. Like, he does play a million miles an hour. Like, he's, he's strong in defense. He puts his body on the line, so maybe that sort of stuff is sort of catching up to him, but it is a good signing. Uh, they've also got John Olive here from the Tynes. You know, decent pickup. John Olive showed some uh, very good form for the Tynes, a few few games he played, so a little bit of a spark out wide. Uh, he might not get a shot, but uh, again, good good, good cover. Uh, Clay Priest, he was he was actually pretty good at the Raiders. I, I, was, I was surprised with, uh, with Priest. He, he showed a bit, so decent. Uh, Moses Silly, this is probably, uh, this is their, like, most recent and, um, not their biggest signing, but it is a, it is a pretty big, big signing, like, it is a pretty marquee signing, like, he's a very young player, but he definitely showed he's got a lot of potential at the Tigers, and he was playing for a Tigers team that was awful, so, into a Bulldogs side with some pretty good, good quality around him, I, you, you would, you would think he would get a, a start, I, he might just slot into the center spot that was vacated by Branko Lee, and he could become their, like, new strike center, but, yeah, that, that's a good pickup. Obviously, the Tigers just can't keep any, <laughs> the Tigers can't keep any of their young stars, dude, it's, it's sad, but, um, yeah, the Bulldogs pick up a pretty good, good player there, and then the other one, Aaron Woods, um, with foreign, that's the, the big two signings. Like I said before, like, Woods is obviously a good player, you know, he's an international player, but I look at the losses, I look at Graham, I look at Cassiano, I don't really think Aaron Woods makes up for that, like, Woods, I, I sort of just feel like Woods does have the ability and stuff, but he, he doesn't have the toughness of a James Graham, and I don't think he quite has the impact of a Cassiano, so, yeah, it's it sort of, it doesn't really equal out, in my opinion, so, you know, I think it'll be good, like, the Bulldogs are still going to have, they'll still have a strong forward pack, I mean, you still got Clemmer there, international, Josh Jackson, uh, New South Wales rep, um, who else, I'm trying to think, they got, they do have good forwards, Aiden Tolman, obviously, um, so they, you know, they go, they got good forwards, uh, a couple of good young forwards, and for Tyler Mariner, and, um, Obviously, well, I was going to say uh, Greg Eastwood, but I, I feel like Greg Eastwood, he might get lucky to actually play this year after last year. He was he had a shocker last year, but um, yeah, he's you know they do have a good forward pack, but I do feel they're gonna they're gonna miss they're gonna miss James Graham and they're gonna miss Cassiano a lot. So I personally think the Bulldogs are gonna miss 
the top eight. Um, you know, I, I personally, this one is probably a, re- this one's a really hard one to pick because they, they might go really well. I mean, I really like Mo Zembai. Michael Lee's you're actually shown like he's got some good quality at the end of the last year. Um, Kieran Foran into the side, um, you know, they could potentially gel and they could potentially go well, but I, I sort of feel like they're just gonna, they're gonna have a tough year. It's obviously, you know, everyone's a bit hyped up because they got the new coach and, you know, they're gonna look to attack and stuff like that, but whether it pays off, I'm not too sure, so I'm gonna say they'll miss the top eight, uh, only just, but, um, yeah, we'll see. They also, also got, and someone I actually, I actually know, used to play football with him, Reese Martin, um, looking here, he's actually in the off contract players for this year, uh, he starred for the, for the PNG side, he's been playing, well, obviously, New South Wales Cup for the, for the Bulldogs, but before that, he was playing Queensland Cup, um, and he's such a good player, yeah, I remember, yeah, I grew up playing with Reese Martin, and I cannot believe he didn't get a, get a shot last year for the Bulldogs, so, you know, I, I think that'd be silly not to, not to slot Reese onto the bench because he's a, he's a quality player. Um, he was outstanding for PNG and yeah, he's just, he's just solid. He's incredible. So that's why, that's my one, uh, name drop there. So yeah, the Bulldogs, we'll, we'll see how they go. Very iffy on them though. So yeah, like I said, leave your comments. What do you reckon? How do you reckon they'll go? Hope you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. And, uh, yeah, Uh, I don't know why I, I made that weird for the outro there, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.